Well, it's not your fault. I mean, come on. He, he is kind of demanding. Yeah. It, really? He's that stressed over it? I mean, but it's only the hundredth. I mean, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, perfectionist. That, that's boo, all right, yep. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, don't, don't take it too hard. You know, he says a lot of things. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course, threats are all part of it. You know, hey, you want to be part of the big time... That's what you got to deal with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, part and parcel. Part and parcel. Yeah. And, and where were you ne last time? I mean, I was looking for you and, oh, really? I, re I, are you serious? I mean, he grounded you? I'm, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Sorry to laugh, but, you know, that's, dude, that's not funny. I mean, just because he exiled me here. Come on. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, too. All right. Oh, oh, I got to do this review. All right. All right. Talk to you later, man. All hail the Gabzev army. Yes, it's I, Gabzev, and I'm back with another fantastic review. And this time, it is... I know what you're thinking. You want to say, it's tracks. No, it's Hotshot. Yes, for some reason, one of the brilliant minds at Hasbro said, hey... Let's take Crosshairs, repaint him as Trax, and we'll call him Hotshot. Yes. And like I said before, where there's a problem, there's usually a moron behind it. So, you know, just look in the shadows. Oh, there he is, moron. Yeah. So this is why those things happen. So let's go and take a look at this nice repaint, and I'll give you my feelings on it. So, um... Yes, so, hired hands. You're so speedy. Nice job. All right, let's turn this to the side. Now, a nice quick look at the side. Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Series 4. Number 11. Oh, and the back. So there you have the back. The only thing Hotshot likes more than winning is winning and going home a hero. The fearless Autobot will charge into any situation, blasters firing at every target in sight. Even women and children, I assume. Ha. <sighs> then it says right down there, Snarl and Bumblebee. And there you go, you've got the Corvette mode right there. Yes, yeah, pretty fantastic, amazing. You color him like tracks, he's a Corvette, and you call him Hot Shot. Totally unacceptable, Hasbro. Totally unacceptable. You know what? Forget it. We're not calling him Hotshot. It's Trax. From now on, that's what he's called. Trax. If you have a problem with that, you're a moron. Good. Let's uh, turn that to the front there. So there it is. Trax. Yeah, don't contradict me. I know what you want to do down there in the message. No, it's Hotshot. Shut up. The only opinion that matters is mine. So we're going with trucks. So let's go open them up. I'll give you my opinion on them. And uh, we'll move on from there. I right, push the button, hide hands. Now, let's take a look at the car mode. And if you look at it, it's really plain Jane. There's nothing amazing or fantastic about it. It does have a nice Autobot symbol on the front, and it's blue. Okay, headlights. Okay, they did a little paint job underneath, you know, a warm gray under there. Wheels are not painted. No paint on the back. And actually in mine, for some reason, it takes me a long time to get this popped in correctly. And I don't know why, so, yes. And just for a comparison, you know, here it is with the Autobots United figure. And you could just see, if you really like tracks, and, and if you're going to do an homage, do it all the way, not 10%. They just made a blue car and then decided, hey, we'll call it Hotshot, but we'll make everything exactly like tracks. They should have had the nice fire bird there, you know, that little flaming bird on it. 
instead of this. But really, when you just look at the sides comparison, I mean, there really is none. So what you're getting is a blue car. If you love tracks, yes, you might like it. So let's quickly go to the robot mode and wrap this up. All right, so let's look at this sloppy repaint. I'm not going to mess around and say, wow, it's fantastic. No, it's a sloppy repaint. And as you can see, they call it Hotshot, but the deco is 100% tracks. If they wanted to reward the fans, I mean, just add a pair of wings. You know, the white wings do a little more paint apps and you'd have something fantastic. But instead, no, it's just a sloppy, rushed repaint. Now, if you really like tracks, well, then this is a figure you'll enjoy. But overall, when you look at it, and let's compare it with, um, okay, crosshairs. And this is the crosshairs from the um, Autobots United set. So, I mean, when you look at the two of them, I mean, there is no doubt which one is better and superior. And, of course, it's the United. I mean, the color scheme, the black, the white, the red, does look good, but it's just so shoddily done. That's the best way to say it. There was no love in this figure. They just kind of splotch it on good enough. I mean, if you look right here, you should look right here. I need with this arm. It's like, what happened with the paint? It's just kind of like, blah. He just took a stripe and just went across. I mean, it's not done. Now here, this one is okay. But this one just seems to be splat. There it is. And so he's got a little bit of paint here for the legs. The groin, he has some paints. And he's got a little Autobot symbol. You know, if you go to the back, he does have a nice Autobot symbol we saw in the car mode. Turn back. Meanwhile, on the back here, yes, so you have the two figures, what they look like, side to side. And again, no paint on the wheels for this one. So, there you are. There's the difference in robot mode. Now, I think you already know my opinion, but let's get to my final thoughts on this, and we can all go home happy. Well, except maybe Hasbro. They might have some troubles. Let's do this. This is why people get upset about Hasbro, right here. Because this is an homage to G1 tracks, but they had to call it Hotshot. Why? Who knows? Morons. But it's not even a good one. It's nothing that makes you go, wow. I mean, if they had gone and added little white wings on it, that would be something. That would make you go, all right, they cared, they loved me. But no, they don't love you. They just love your money. They want your money. This is all it is, just to take your money away from you. If you want to do that, that's fine. But for me, no. This is, this is just terrible. I can't stand when they do this stuff. And if you want to just give somebody money, send it to me. Send it to Gubsland. I could use your money. Yes. So, this one is definitely... Pass on it, Gubs of Army. Pass, pass, pass. Unless you are a die-hard G1 Tracks fan. Then you have my permission to pick it up. But of course you'll have to buy the um, repro labels for it later. So, that's all I have to say. Very disappointing for me. So, all hail the Gubs of Army. Gubs Lev, out. Oh,